Shakespeare. English playwright and poet is recognized in much of the world as the greatest of all dramatists. Hundreds of editions of his plays have been published, including translations in all major languages. Scholars have written thousands of books and articles about his plots, characters, themes and language. He is the most widely quoted author in history and his plays have probably been performed more times than those of any other dramatist. William Shakespeare was born in April 23rd of 1564. There is no specific date of birth because at that time the only date of importance was the date of baptism. Though infants often were baptized when they were three days old, Shakespeare's baptismal date was 26th April 1564. Shakespeare was born in the village of Stratford upon Avon in Warwickshire. Shakespeare's father, John Shakespeare, came from a family of yeomen and he gained many prestigious positions in the community. Shakespeare's mother, Mary Arden, came from an ancient family of landed gentry. Shakespeare's first exposure to the theater probably occurred when he was young. As a child, his father probably took him to see plays when traveling troops of actors came to town. Although that was not often, when Shakespeare first arrived in London in the late 1580s or early 1590s, dramatists writing for London's new commercial playhouses such as the Carting were combining two different strands of dramatic tradition into a new and distinctively Elizabethan synthesis. With his two patrons, the Earls of Southampton and Pembroke, Shakespeare rose quickly in the theatre as both an actor and an author. He joined the Lord Chamberlain's Men, an acting company which was protected by the Queen. In addition to his popularity as both an actor and playwright, Shakespeare became joint owner of the famous Globe Theatre when it opened in 1599. His share of the company's management added heavily to his wealth. Though Shakespeare is most closely associated with the Elizabethan period, his career can be categorized as both Elizabethan and Jacobian. By the late 16th century, the popularity of morality and academic plays waned as the English Renaissance took hold, and playwrights like Thomas Kidd and Christopher Marlowe revolutionized theatre. Their plays blended the old morality drama with classical theory to produce a new secular form. The theatre that Cuthbert Burbage built for the Chamberlain's men had a total capacity of between 2,000 and 3,000 spectators. Because there was no lighting, all performances at the Globe were conducted, weather permitting, during the day. Probably most often in the mid-afternoon span between 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. Because most of the Globe and all of its stage was open air, acoustics were poor and the actors were compelled by circumstances to shout their lines stress their enunciation and engage in exaggerated theatrical gestures. Shakespeare's characters emerge in his plays as distinctive human beings. Although some of the characters display elements of conventional dramatic types, such as the melancholy man, the braggart soldier, the pedant, and the young lover. Hamlet, one of the most complex characters in all literature, is partly a picture of the ideal Renaissance man. The women in Shakespeare's plays are vivid creations, each differing from the others. It is important to remember that in Shakespeare's time, boy actors played the female parts. Actresses did not appear in a Shakespeare's play until after the restoration of Charles II to the English throne in 1660 and the introduction of French practices such as women actors. Shakespeare was fond of portraying aggressive, witty heroes. Slay not for my pleasure. The shadow of the new wine and the new. Yalla! 
More than 420 feature-length film versions of William Shakespeare's plays have been produced, making Shakespeare the most filmed author ever in any language. Some are faithful to the original story and text, while others are adaptations that use only the plots rather than his dialogue. Among them, Macbeth by Roman Polanski, The Merchant of Venice, Romeo and Juliet, Twelfth Night and As You Like It are celebrated. There is no simple explanation for Shakespeare's unrivaled popularity, but he remains our greatest entertainer and perhaps our most profound thinker. He had a remarkable knowledge of human behavior, which he was able to communicate through his portrayal of a wide variety of characters. He was able to enter fully into the point of view of each of his characters and to create vivid dramatic situations in which to explore human motivations and behavior. His mastery of poetic language and of the techniques of drama enabled him to combine these multiple viewpoints, human motives and actions. This great dramatist died on April 23, 1616 and was buried two days later in the chancel of Holy Trinity Church where he had been baptized exactly 52 years earlier. Though he is no more with us, he left us a bunch of timeless literary creations which will live as long as man can breathe and this will give life to them.